got here? Ah. Hello everybody, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another video. Uh, this is a follow-up to the Jabba's Sail Barge from Hasbro. And as promised by Hasbro, uh, they have shipped me my Behind the Workbench book. And I think everybody in America uh, who pre-ordered it, uh, who, who backed the barge, received their book today because... I, I happened to, to glance on Instagram, and everybody was everyone that backed the barge. They were proudly showing off this book, and I wanted to share it with you folks. Um, I wanted to uh, any updates, anything I get uh, from Hasbro. I wanted to, to share because I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I backed the barge, and uh, I thought, you know what? Let me let me do a little quick video here, and let me share the book because I, I totally understand not everybody could have backed the barge. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of money. It's 500 bucks. Um, it takes up a lot of space. It's uh, about a year away. Well, technically, it's less than a year. It is, uh, what are we? We're in, in April, and Hasbro promised us uh, delivery the end of February, so it's less than, than a year. The book looks beautiful. Um, I was expecting a hard cover. I don't know why they. I went back into their website and they never said they would. But it's a softbound book. Special thanks to Lucas Film and Disney for their continued collaboration with Hasbro Star Wars uh, team. With without your decades of experience and enthusiasm, none of this would be possible uh, for your teamwork and support. Forever grateful. Now I'm going to do my best to do quick pauses so that if you do want to read the book. Or read the details you can uh, pause the video and uh, spend more time on the images but I I'm gonna uh, do my best to kind of glance through the pages and if I see something that uh, looks cool I'll obviously spend a little bit more time on it um, here's here's what uh, you asked and we answered a long time ago you know what's interesting is that they had this thing this book ready it's it's as if they knew the barge would have been backed um, if you would have asked me uh, a couple weeks before they hit, before the goal was hit, I, I was in doubt. I didn't think this thing would be fulfilled. I really did not. But uh, my, it ended up with uh, 8,810 backers, pre-orders. So it was uh, not only a success, it was a huge success. This is cool. I like... Uh, I. I, I, I gotta tell you something. I, I want to share something r really quick. This is kind of cool. The fact that um, these uh, they were able to include a lot of the vintage photos and production set photos into this book, which is what I was expecting. And, and uh, it, it's neat. It, the fact that you could still <laughs> buy merchandise on from a film that was released 30 years ago. It's 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 pretty unique. It really is. M Mark Bordeaux. Uh, he's famous because a lot of the Star Wars uh, ships. Uh, were designed by him, so he is the he is the the chief designer for a lot of this stuff. This is nice. This is a, it's it's a, it's a gorgeous, well put book. Uh, I I think they knew that the barge would have been backed. I don't think Hasbro thought that it it would have exceeded the amount it did over you know close to nine thousand pre-orders. It, it still blows me away. It really, really does. Uh, concept and face. That's neat. I, I like that uh, Chinese uh, influenced concept art of the uh, of the barge. This is nice. I like to frame this. This type of art, this vintage Ralph Macquarie art. I I like to have this framed. This is this is beautiful. This is really nice stuff here. I've never seen any of this. I've never seen any of this conceptual art from from. Uh, I'm assuming it's Ralph Macquarie. Yep, Ralph Macquarie. This is really nice. Something like this framed, very nice. His stuff, his stuff is just legendary. Look at that, Ralph McQuarrie, Star Wars, 1983. The man was a genius, he really, really was. Official Lucasfilm blueprint, and I don't think this is what I was looking forward to—the blueprint. They uh, really had no re real reason to show the blueprint in any published book, I, not that I know of. I collected a lot of Star Wars books back back in the 90s and I don't ever remember look at that blue harvest in the, in the lower corner there <laughs> the, uh, the the secret uh, code of the film so that they wouldn't get caught filming <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I I never seen any of this conceptual art blueprints, any of this stuff. Um, I uh, I had the the cutaway Star Wars books back in the '90s, and uh, I never saw any of this. Look at that, uh, the uh, the elevated uh, set they had to build. This is this is what makes Return of the Jedi so so special, so unique. It's 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 the practical effects, the fact that they had to build a, a full scale mock up of Jabba's set of and the fact that we had to wait like 30, 35 years for this piece of iconic vehicle to actually hit us as a, as a, as a toy, as a vehicle. I can't wait. I really, really can't. This is going to be nice. Look at that. That's awesome. A full a full scale set. Look at that. Man, what a shame. They probably tore it down, set it on fire, and recycled the wood for another set. Something like that. Man, you can turn that into like a theme park attraction. <laughs> Compared to movie sets. Look at that. They really did a good job putting this book together. Again, it's weird that they assumed that they would have hit their goal. Because they had this thing, I mean, ready to, to ship the minute the uh, the campaign ended. Oh, you can see the struts underneath the skiff to create that illusion that it's hovering. You can kind of see it there. That's neat. That's really neat. Classic Luke and Leia. I think most of us have seen this uh, iconic marketing image of Luke and Leia swinging off the sail barge. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Luke Skywalker wields his green lightsaber on the deck of the katana. I hope I'm saying that right, katana. <laughs> I really do. Ah, oh, look at that huge giant set built for the first act of the film. They were on board this barge for what? What, five, ten minutes, if that? Part of the film? Maybe 20? I want to go back. Well, what's that here? Uh, according to a 2017 analysis done by... Uh, I was reading the, uh, the, the top right hand corner. I'll wait till it goes back. A sail-centric view of the sail barge on board casting crew. All right. So what does that say? According to a 2017 analysis done by Insure the Gap headquarters, a British insurance company would cost about $7,200 annually to insure the katana. Not a complete bad deal for a floating pub, complete with bands and giant cannons. <laughs> oh, that's neat. That's really neat. Set model design. Yeah. Oh, that thing is huge. You see the calendar in the back, it said November 1982. More production uh, photos of the characters. There's Yak Face, y the esteemed Yakora. Oh, known to many simply as Yak Face is unknown. Alien, look at that. See the real. Oh, Jabba looks weird in that shot. He looks off. I don't think he's puppeteered in this shot. Yeah, he, he looks different. And it's not that big inside this barge. They really, uh, they really looked the camera angles in there. I wonder if they've actually filmed inside the actual set or if they filmed in the studio. Hasbro builds the barge. Wow. Takes a villager, a small rebellion. And there is Mark Bodeau again, senior principal designer, and then Steve Evans, design and development director. You guys may have, if you guys follow Hasbro Pulse on Instagram, you, you pretty much would know who Steve Evans is. He's the one that's been kind of spearheading the, uh, the, the campaign behind it. The ability to share the process with those fans, we are really going to take those most loyal of fans behind the scenes and involve them in every step of the way. And he's been doing that. He's been on Hasbro Pulse on Instagram, and he's been providing updates. So, so far, so good. Hasbro has been uh, doing their part. We heard you. The decision to create Jabba Sail Barge in 35 years. In 2012, fans created the Bring, Bring on the Barge petition. Now, I knew of a petition of, of past Star Wars vehicles. I did not know that the Sail Barge garnered that much demand. It wasn't until the, the, the whole campaign started, I started doing research, and I started looking at past forums that people have been clamoring for the sail barge for a very, very long time. 
Again, that was news to me. I, I think it's a cool vehicle. I don't know why they waited this long. Dust off your Jabba Denzians and clear space on your shelf. Yes. I have actually cleared a spot on my shelf. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I really do look forward to, to having this thing decked out, displayed. I'm also going to... Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a poster in, behind it. Of, a, of, of the sand dune um, I, I do I you know to kind of recreate Tatooine I do I, I really want to go all out I mean I've committed to the barge I look forward to, to, to really get this vehicle totally displayed with all the uh, the aliens Jabba the whole shebang the whole works if you guys are aware a lot of these aliens uh, to, to uh, staff the barge uh, it, in the aftermarket prices on eBay it's, it's Skywalker it's ridiculous any alien that you saw, any Hasbro Star Wars alien that, that is designed for the barge has, to me, in my opinion, from what I've seen, doubled and tripled on eBay. The aftermarket prices uh, on, on this stuff is just, it's mind-blowing. Luckily, I started staffing and buying a lot of this stuff before the campaign hit because I was kind of betting on that the barge would be a success. And I didn't want to get stuck scrambling, looking for characters to staff the barge because I knew that if this barge was a success, it would be neck. It would be extremely expensive to 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 get the skiff. I think I saw the skiff, the Hasbro skiff, the 1996 version, breaking 150 bucks on eBay. It's it's ridiculous. Now this is cool here. This is why the the um, the trace paper blueprint. So where it has the original blueprint to the katana from the 1983 set and then the final Hasbro version and you can kind of do like an overlay a comparison shot there and that's pretty neat I, I go oh, that's that's cool they put a lot of love into this I, I, again they really felt in their hearts that that this campaign would be a, a huge success and the fact that they were able to have this book ready to ship says something Uh, that's that's cool. You can kind of see the before and after. That's the uh, the blueprint. Then that's the Hasbro version there. That's cool. That's cool. I apologize for the shaking, guys. I I just wanted to kind of quickly share this book and put a video. I've been so busy with life and work, and I, I wanted to pump out a video for you folks. And hopefully, I get another video out later to this week. I'm working on something else. Haslab. You asked for it, we answered. So there it is. After more than 35 years. Oh, I guess I was thinking 30 to 35. It's 35 years. Return of Jedi has for 3 percent of 3 and 3 quarter inch scale premium design. Details sale bar. There it is. Little quick rundown. Wanted to share this book. And if I get any updates or anything else, hopefully the next update will be the sale barge. I can kind of deck that out. Maybe go out in the desert and recreate the, uh, the pit of Carcoon. Have some fun kind of cool <laughs> uh, thanks for watching folks and uh, I will uh, hopefully my next videos will I I'm craving hot toys Iron Man so hopefully it'll be the next one like subscribe leave your comments below thanks for watching